This, this one, one time, time in, in math, math class. class. This one time in math this class. Time? In Real math stories class. from the classroom. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm ready to go and prove this guy. Oh boy! We're dealing with the double angle identity. We is gonna need this guy over here. Uh -huh. So I have the sine of the sum of angles. That's the sine of A, the cosine of B. These are different, so the signs are the same. The cosine A, sine of B. And then what are we going to do with that? We're going to break it up in the algebra style. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this. Ooh, I'm going to call that the sine of the sum. X plus X. Wait a minute. What's X plus X? It is 2X. Finish him. Now it's plug and chug with that guy over there. So I'm looking at the sine of X. The cosine of x, because I'm considering this my a, and that my b. So then, these are the set opposites, so these signs are the same. This is plus the sine of x, the cosine of x. But that one over there has the cosine, the cosine of x, and the sine of x. Yeah, but I can commute the two, because it's multiplication of two functions. Do you guys see anything to like there? They are the same. So, like here I had an x and I had an x. <laughs> Couple of them. Yeah, I can rewrite that as 2x. Here I have a sine, cosine, a sine, cosine. I can rewrite that and a sine, a 2 in front of that. 2 times the sine of x, the cosine of x. And then what's next? That's it. That's the sine of the double angle.